the Yangchuan lizard, the largest predator in late Jurassic China. This is the Yangchuanosaurus. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Dinosaur Channel. This is your home on the internet for all things dinosaur and prehistoric. I'm your host, Tall, and today we're going to be covering an episode all about the Yangchuanosaurus. This is a super exciting dinosaur, but before we do, make sure that you subscribe and turn on those notifications so you don't miss a single quick dive that we do on these prehistoric creatures. Also, please leave us a dinosaur-sized thumbs up and comment down below a dinosaur or prehistoric creature you would like to see us cover in the future. You can also become a member on this channel by hitting that join button while you unlock cool icons and emojis that you can use when interacting with us. It'll be a huge support to the channel, we'll really appreciate it, but with that being said, let's dive into an episode on the Yang Chuanosaurus. So what does Yangchuan Osaurus actually mean? Well, this means the Yangchuan lizard. It refers to Yangchuan, China, which was the area where this dinosaur was first discovered. This is a little model of the Yangchuan Osaurus that I'm gonna put aside because I'll play with it for the whole episode if I don't. So where and when did the Yangchuan Osaurus actually live? Well, this creature lived in what is now China during the late Jurassic period, around 161 to 157 million years ago. The first specimen of Yangchuan Osaurus was discovered in 1997 by a construction worker working on the construction construction of a dam in Yangchuan district of Sichuan, China. So what did the Yangchuanosaurus actually look like? This creature was a huge theropod. The Yangchuanosaurus was said to grow up to 36 feet or 11 meters long, weigh around 6,600 pounds or 3 metric tons. It had a big skull with the biggest specimen measuring 3.6 feet or 1 meter long. It's kind of similar in size and appearance to its North American and European relative, the Allosaurus. The Yangchuanosaurus was a bipedal. It walked on two large muscular legs and it had short arms, a strong short neck, and a big head with powerful jaws and large serrated teeth. There was a bony ridge on its nose and multiple hornlets and ridges. It had a massive tail that was about half of its length and it also had three toes on each limb and each toe was equipped with a large claw. God, that's a mouthful. This Yangchuanosaurus was packed. Now, is the Yangchuanosaurus famous? Well, not so much. It has been mentioned in dinosaur populations culture, but not really that much. It's also not as famous as, let's say, its cousin, the Allosaurus. The Yangchuanosaurus did make an appearance on the animated musical Dinosaur Train, and also appeared in the arcade game Dinosaur King. In the Jurassic franchise, you can see this dino in the video game Jurassic Park 3 Park Builder. And you guys might be wondering, is it going to be included in Jurassic World Dominion? Well, it was not in the prologue, nor was it in the trailer. However, Mattel did release a Yangchuanosaurus action figure. So I don't know if it was only intended as an additional promotional material, or if this dinosaur is ever planned to be in the movie or scrapped from the movie, but it's pretty much not in Dominion. Okay, so let's move on to the diet and behavior of the Yangchuanosaurus. This animal was clearly an herbivore. I'm just joking. This was definitely a carnivore. Relax your face. It was a carnivore or a meat eater. It was violent and probably very aggressive. A terrifying creature for sure. You know, with its sharp teeth and claws. Like the Allosaurus, it was believed to have stalked its prey in groups and fed on herbivores of its time. Whoa, wait. So imagine an apex predator that hunted in packs like lions. It would have been very easy for the Yangchuanosaurus to take down just about any dinosaur it chose as prey, even the largest of sauropods or stegosaurs of its time. Scientists speculate that the Yangchuanosaurus used to use the hatchet bite method to kill its prey, in which the creature would whack its head down like an axe or a hatchet and slam into its prey to inflict more damage. You know when you gotta like staple a thick stack of papers and you just have to slam the stapler a little bit harder to make sure it clamps everything in place? It's kind of like that, but dino-sized and like with his mouth just going, ha! And then just like, imagine how awkward that interaction is. Like you're, let's say, just a small sauropod, juvenile sauropod, just mind your business foraging on trees. And all of a sudden you see this just take his head and go, eh? And he, then he's just sitting in your back with his jaw, just like this in your back, just looking at you, like probably making some weird dinosaur sound noises from his mouth, just going like, <laughs> that, that would be not be fun. I don't think, honestly, Honestly, I don't think being a herbivore in the Mesozoic era would have been a very fun thing. I mean, it wouldn't have been fun to be a carnivore either, but just like, man, getting eaten by a dinosaur, it's just not a good time. But that, my friends, is the Yangchuanosaurus. I apologize if there's not so much information on this dinosaur. We had a really hard time gearing up all the proper data, but we'll hopefully do a deeper dive on the Yangchuanosaurus in the future, where we can give you guys a little bit more information on this amazing creature. Sometimes getting information on these Chinese dinosaurs can be a little bit difficult because it's not all there. And I wanna make sure that we're not hitting you with many inaccuracies in these episodes. While we don't always get everything perfect, we try to do our best to make sure it's as scientifically accurate as possible. So that's what we're trying to uphold, and I apologize in advance, my friends. But that being said, 
if you love this awesome prehistoric creature, then smack us with a dinosaur sized thumbs up because we're covering all the animals in the Jurassic World franchise. As well, leave us a comment down below with a dinosaur or prehistoric creature you would like to see us cover in the future. And of course, if you want to support this channel, you can by becoming a member and joining the channel. You unlock cool icons and emojis that you can use when interacting with us. And obviously, subscribe and turn on those notifications so you don't miss any of those videos. If you also want to support us, you can just send us some money on our PayPal link down below in the description, and we'll see you in the next one. Goodbye, my friends.